Oi Bladrins, welcome back to a new Latin Quick Repairs episode. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy A10 that is FRP locked. This video acts sort of like a part 2 to my Nox Bypass video that I did a few weeks back. And this is how to remove the FRP using the same tool. Alright, so if you watched my previous video on the MDM bypass, I showed you how to download the tool, how to download the drivers and get it all set up so it's fully working. Just to keep this video short, I'm not going to go over that process again. If you want to see how to download the tool and everything, just go back to that MDM bypass video and then just come back once you're done. And assuming you've got everything set up already, let's uh, open up SamFW. Alright, so it's finally open now after 10 years. This laptop is slow as fuck. But anyways, um, I'm using 3.2, but it doesn't matter. At the time when I filmed that MDM bypass, it was 3.2, that was the latest, but now 3.31 has come out. But you don't really need to update to it because it still works fine. So I'm just gonna click on no for now. But obviously when you download it, download the latest one. Now connect your phone via your USB cable. This phone has micro USB, so I'm just gonna use micro USB. And what you can do, is let's just go all the way back right if your phone has got a pin lock on it just do a hard reset by holding the volume up and power and then that'll get into recovery just do a factory reset and then you'll get into this setup screen right so once you're in the setup screen don't connect it to wi-fi just plug it straight in it's gonna show up here so as you can see there you are, it's just downloading the tool, no, not the tool, the driver from the phone itself. So just give that a minute. There we are, perfect. So just hit enter and it comes up right here. And that's how you know if it has loaded into the tool properly or not. If it doesn't come up, once again, just download the uh, Samsung drivers off Samsung's website or you can go into MISC right here, miscellaneous, and then click on install USB, Samsung USB driver and then that should come up so once it has loaded up get your phone and obviously it's connected it's going to show up here samsung mobile usb modem um make sure you remove any sim cards and micro sd cards you don't want that to get corrupted or deleted or whatever it is you just want it to be removed just for your safekeeping and uh, don't connect it to wi-fi just hit on remove frp I don't know how to really show this to you. There we are. So it says go to emergency dialer and type in star hash zero star hash. So let's do that. Star hash zero star hash. There we go. Click on OK. Yep, here we go. If that gives an error, then obviously it's going to try again, but now it works. So click on always allow for this computer, allow. There we are, give it a few moments. There we go. It's gonna restart now, there we go. And FRP has been removed successfully. Do you want to send us some coffee? No, I need my own coffee, thank you very much. And that is restarting now. Boom. There we go. And that is done. So we're just going to wait for this to load up. This app is okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Hurry up and load in. This phone's a pile of crap anyways. I got it just because it's FRP locked for very cheap and it's in good condition but now that that's done um, go into the settings general management reset factory data reset scroll all the way down reset whoa and delete all there we go so just wait for that to reset and you should be good to go i'm going to quickly fast forward this Here we go, finally it's been reset, it took a sweet bloody time, we can also disconnect the cable now. So let's just start setting up this phone shall we. So 
skip and we should be done no get lost yay we are done and in a second when everything loads i'll go in the settings and i'll show you that there's no accounts just to prove it and this is not bullshit by the way this is genuine stuff and this tool is free so that's all good and there's no malicious stuff i've seen so many videos about people flashing phones with malicious applications and when you try to download it just downloads a bunch of viruses and um, where is it accounts and backup accounts and there we go so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this frp bypass tool uh video this works on every samsung phone there is and once again everything will be linked in the description below so thank you very much for watching this landing quick repairs this was really quick i just wanted to keep it short and simple as like a part two and that's it so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video